Okay, I am a strong believer that if we can survive the first couple of days, we can survive anything. How hard can it be? All right, let's get some let's get some cooking done. Put the entire bag of peas in the oven, bag and all. The plastic will add a little bit of flavor. Munch on these peas. Almost an inappropriate sounding sentence. I have a single sheet I can put on uh, on a window somewhere. Might as well put it on the window right at the bottom of the stairs here. I think this building marks a uh, marks a, a new leaf for the Lyra family. Okay, and we'll sleep the night away and progress into day three. I believe. Nope, just just day two. Getting a little ahead of myself. We've woken up at 2.50 in the morning. That sucks. Can't really go outside because it'll be too dark. Let's do a little bit of organization in the morning since we have some time to kill. Put all the junk in one container. This is how the pros do it. I would assume anyways. Not that I would know. And uh, the handbag on the ground here is where we'll put all of our, our weaponry for now. We'll shove a an entire shovel into there. And uh, we don't want to lose the plunger, so we'll put that in there as well. Make sure it's stashed away for safekeeping. I think what we'll do is use our hammer and disassemble some things downstairs to start getting ready to board up the windows. Okay, we got two planks, that's not bad. But we'll disassemble as much as we can and then we'll start, uh, we'll start boarding up windows. Failed to produce any usable materials, that kind of blows. I think what I'm gonna do is go and get all that food that I left in that other house like a fool. Can zombies see in the dark? Because I can't see in the dark, and it it wouldn't really bode well for me if they could and I couldn't. We've got one trailing us so far. Let's take care of that in the light so we can see what we're doing. There we go. Easy enough. Now, which house was it that I was staying in? They all look very similar. Okay, this is it. Totally the first house I checked. Definitely didn't go to the wrong house first. Now let's grab all that food we stashed in here foolishly last time. And now we make the painfully slow journey back. Time is a precious commodity these days, but um, that doesn't seem to matter to Mr. Ly Mr. Lyra here. So I think a smart thing to do would be to loot the, uh, the grocery store here. The door is locked. I don't think we can open any of these side windows either. Oh, the back door's open though. That's nice. I don't see any logical reason why we wouldn't just take all the food. We're going to be eating a steady diet of chips for the foreseeable future, it looks like. Chips and condiments. Yum. Can't go wrong with that. Oh, some meat. Fantastic. Okay. I don't think it really matters if we're if we're a little bit over encumbered. We are going to have a packed fridge. And let's uh let's go out and scavenge the neighboring houses. There's a boarded up house here. In the brief experience that I've had, this can either mean uh, a, a good amount of loot or just a bunch of zombies. Uh, my approach to the building should have been a little bit more cautious than that. That was, uh, that was a rookie mistake made by a pro. These things happen though. Okay, I can see a zombie inside, but it looks like that might actually be it. We'll see if we can't open the door here. The door's barricaded, okay. Take it back. Oh, okay. There we go. Threat neutralized. We're gonna have to pry off one of these boards. Oh, or maybe not, actually. We can clear the glass away here. Okay, that is uh, an unfortunate turn of events. That's one. That's two. That's three. Oh, there's more. Oh my goodness. That's four. And five. And six. There was a party going on at that house when the zombie apocalypse happened, apparently. Now that we've neutralized a small army, we can uh, move in on our target here. The simple act of clearing glass. So we should be okay to move in and then see what's inside this this boarded up building. Because you'd think, you'd think it'd be boarded up for a reason. If nothing else, there's lots of boards we can take, and we're going to want those. Uh... A surprising amount of food in the bathroom sink. I don't know how much I'd trust it, but we'll, we'll go with it. This is a very empty house to be boarding up. I'm not really sure what they were trying to protect. There's not a lot here. Uh, that was the entirety of the contents of this house, as it turns out. So beyond the boards on the outside, there's, there was not a lot here. We're gonna hopefully do this quickly because we need, uh, 
We don't want to. We don't want to be out here in the open for too long. And we'll start barricading with with a decent amount of haste, please, Mr. Lyra. That would be the preferred option. We'll we'll aim for three on every window for now. See if we can accomplish that. Is it better to barricade the inside or the outside? Because I'm. I would assume the outside, but I don't actually know if it would make a difference. Okay, so this is a, a decent amount of progress towards home security. All things considered, uh, it could be a lot worse right now. I'm drowsy at 1.50. Probably has something to do with the fact that I got up at 2.30 in the morning. You really gotta fix your sleeping habits here, bud. Turn off all electronic devices an hour before you go to bed. Don't eat before you go to bed. Make sure that your workspace and your sleep space are separated. These are these are easy mistakes to make, I get it. You gotta be proactive about this kind of thing, otherwise you're just gonna suffer. We're getting tired very quickly, actually. I wanna grab some curtains. There's a backpack. You have my attention, sir. The hammer of justice is swift, and it will give us a school bag. Fantastic. That's a win. That's a huge win. So we'll have a we'll have a decent amount of security. We've got food. We've got water. Things might turn out well for the second Lyra brother. Forgot to grab the curtains. That was the whole reason I went over there. Look, I've said it before and I'll say it again. I've never claimed to be a smart man. Maybe a little bit risky to be doing this when I'm so tired. Why did I get so tired all of a sudden? I was fine. Okay, let's steal the curtains. Nope, we're not going to close the curtain, we're going to remove it. There we go. How many windows are in, the, are in the Cortman Medical Building? I don't know the answer to that. Okay, we'll come back for the books and stuff later, because we are ridiculously tired. Uh, we did get a pipe wrench out of this as well, so I think we'll use that as our main weapon instead of the hammer. Yeah, let's just make as much noise as possible rummaging through the trees. I, I made the noise on purpose because I wanted to know if there was something in the area. Okay, yeah, there's there's something in the area. All right, let's um, let's be let's be swift here. There we go. They'll never know I was here. Uh, add sheet. Boy, have you lost your mind? Cause I'll help you find it. What? Why did I do that? Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. I clicked the wrong one. Of all the idiots and all the idiot villages and all the idiot kingdoms, I reign supreme. My god. Life is a freaking uphill battle. And that hill is a cliff if you're stupid like I am. Alright. Instantly regretted that. What is the play here? Because I've boarded up all the windows from the outside. Doesn't look like I can remove the barricades from the inside. This could be a problem. I have a bold strategy in mind. And I'm, I'm gonna be honest, it's... It's risky, but if it's stupid and it works, then it's not stupid, right? Now the stakes are high. Blood's pumping, the adrenaline's flowing. We're in an extreme panic, both in the game and out. We're gonna do the oldest trick in the book here. So we hop the fence quickly, and then we go this way, and we... Okay, they, they figured out fences. Well, fuck. Hey, real quick before you click off, uh, I'm going to be joining a awesome charity live stream event that is hosted by Twin Rose Media. Um, it'll be on Saturday, January the 30th. Mark it in your calendars now. We'll be streaming for 12 hours to raise money for two amazing organizations in the image there. The stream will feature the talents of myself, Sora of the Light, and the hilarious boys over at Twin Rose Media. If you're able to drop by at any time during those 12 hours, it would mean the world to us. Okay, bye.